What is going on everybody? Jimmo here again with another blast from the past. I've pulled out my rim video, which is actually my most viewed video at this point. 1.6 million views around there. And the original video didn't have really any instruction, just a lot of loud noise from the air compressor in the background. So I thought I'd fix that now and let you guys know what's going on with it. So the first thing I'm doing here is applying a white base coat. Now with transparent colors such as yellows, and reds and even blues and I'm sure there's more depending on the paint line um, it's best to put down a different color first so the base coat color covers better so in this case I'm gonna be using my white base coat so my yellow will have that nice bright look to it so uh, that's what we're doing here and I'm using an airbrush for this entire thing just because it's a small job a lot easier to get in I suppose I could have used a regular paint gun I would have had to mask it off a lot better than I did but we're gonna keep that black the way it is so I'm not gonna do anything to that I've just scuffed the entire thing down with a scotch bright pad and some sanding paste so once that dries I'm going to apply my color in this case the yellow now I could have also used a white primer instead but uh, I chose to use the base coat on this job and I am spraying I believe RN's Dymont base coat this would have been one of the earlier videos but that is actually not compliant in my area because of uh, the environmental regulations that have changed. So we could be using a water base here or even a low VOC solvent would do the trick just as well. And I'm really looking forward to trying out the new Onyx uh, BASF low VOC solvent, which I've heard a lot of really good things about. And hopefully I will have a video doing something a little more in depth with it, maybe blending out some colors and whatnot. And uh, yeah, so hopefully that's not too far out. Now, as I said, for prep, I just went over it with a scuff pad, a gray scuff pad, and a sanding paste, and I left the, the original black intact. Had I have cut through an edge, you have to be very careful if you cut through an edge, then we would have had to have applied the black paint down first. But I wanted to kind of avoid that, so I was pretty careful. Now I had to uh, wipe off some of the excess paint there, just took some thinners to uh, anywhere I had a little bit of overspray get away from me and then mask up the wheel. So we just took the air out of the, the, out of the tire and broke the bead down so we could just kind of tape it off and not have to worry about remounting the tire later. And I know the videos have been a little bit slow going as of late. I'm gonna try to get back into schedule in the new year. I haven't actually been at the shop uh, as much as I used to be, sort of uh, pursuing some other things, but I'm gonna make sure we find a way to get you guys your fix and get some cool painting jobs out there and don't forget to check out the website refinishnetwork.com it's just uh, had a bit of an overhaul and it seems to be running pretty well so if you want to get some paint advice or meet some friendly guys see some cool cars check it out it's definitely worth a look so the last thing we're gonna do is apply the clear coat to bring the shine back up and protect the base coat and you have to be pretty careful when you're spraying rims like this I've put a significant amount of runs into rim blah, 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 runs into rims runs into rims in the past so you have to kind of go around it do your offsets first and then do the face of it after but it's one of those things that comes with experience the guy actually spraying it here probably has about twice to maybe three times my spraying experience so uh, he did a really good job and uh, finished them off pretty nice And another option that would have probably looked kind of cool was adding a flattening agent into the clear to give us a nice matte finish and it probably would have looked pretty neat. Kind of tough to visualize it, but uh, I think it would have worked out pretty well. Definitely an option, maybe on the next batch of wheels that I end up doing, if I end up doing another batch of wheels, which I'm sure I will. But uh, even if we were to skip the striping process and we just wanted to paint them all one color a flat black or whatever basically this the methodology is the same you can scuff it down with a sanding pad and some paste and then just pretty well spray away so here are the rims all shiny and pretty looking so uh, they're they're gonna go on a 2004 Mazda six Mazda, yeah 2004 Mazda 6 which is coming up in just a second and I gotta apologize if I'm a little off today and uh, not my normal enthusiastic stuff I'm a little a little bit under the weather today but I was just determined to get a video out because it's been a little while since I got one to you so here it is here 
Um, hopefully you guys like this video. Don't forget to subscribe for more because they are there's more coming down the pipe. And check us out on Facebook. You'll find a link in the description. So that is it for today, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.